Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be doing 12 types of homework. And I start school in 26 days. And I'll be going into 8th grade. But I start school in 26 days. I'm excited, but not. Because I don't know who my teachers are yet. So. so before we get started with this video, thank you. Thank you for, thank you. I gotta get it out from behind me because, so thank you for Betty's Betty for sponsoring with me today. Um, here is a cover that I got. And I like it, but it's really comfortable, and it doesn't break. Because as you can see, it's either you can either hand make it, which I did. I did hand make my own, or you can get them to make it. So I just got the little squares, and I hand made it myself. So. Thank you for Betty's Betting for sponsoring today's video. So now, let's get into the video. So, number one, the time waster. The time waster homework comes out at the beginning and at the end of the year. Like, it would be like um, a crossword puzzle. And so, You'll come home and you'll be like, do you have any homework? Yes, well, homework first. You'll do it and then you'll be like, what am I going to learn from this? What do you learn from a crossword puzzle unless this vocabulary list? Okay, the drawing assignment. And I had this the last week of school last year. We had the drawing assignment. And it's like, you can draw, draw a picture of the eyeball and then label it. And you don't have to be a good drawer as long as you do it and... I swear, teachers are like, like, as long as you do it, you don't have to be a good drawer. But if you're a good drawer, they'll give you extra credit. So, I'll spend all my time on trying to be a good drawer just to get extra credit. But, next, I gotta stretch real quick. Next is the read-a-thon. And so, like, you'll come home and the, no, you'll be at school and the teacher will be like, read 35 chapters before tomorrow and memorize it. Um, okay, I'll read it, but I won't remember how to. And then next is the test review. So, the test review is like, you're going to think it's so easy, but honey, no. It's like one page, like, of 12 questions, and then you have to actually do the questions, and when you finally get done, be like, I'm done. No, because then you have to review it for the test. It's like one page of like 12 questions, and every single question has an A, B, and C to it. So, yeah. The next one is the copy and paste. And this is this is where, when, like, the teacher will get online and they'll be like, I have to figure out a teacher that I don't know because I can't say teacher's name. Mm -mm, that's a teacher at my school. Mrs. Pink. So she'll be like, no, let's do Mr. Love. Okay, let's just do that. Because that sounds better. So, um, they'll be like, Mr. Love homework, 8th grade. And they'll put it in big letters. And then they'll go to the internet and they'll be like, oh, here's math work. I don't even know how to do this math, but they're going to do it. And they'll go central C, central V. And then it's all on there. And to be and to be honest, it's it's plagiarism on the teacher's part. But Okay. But the next one is the never ending workload. And this is where you're in class and they'll be like the teacher will be like 
okay, read this book. We're going to have a pop quiz. Then read this book. Then we're going to have a test. Read this book. And there's going to be 400 points of a 400 question. And seven of them are essays. And then you'll be like, what? So, yeah. The next is the memorization list. So, um, this will be like, you'll get this one like officially around like fourth or fifth grade, maybe earlier, like first grade or second grade. Yeah, like first through the rest of your life. Because, um, it'll be like, but between like fourth or fifth grade, they'll make you like memorize the states. And if your teacher's very fancy, they'll help you. They'll be like, you gotta memorize the states and the capitals or the countries or whatever else. So, and I actually have a song for that. Alabama and Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, I would start to talk to the Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> but yeah, that has a 50 state song, and I learned it by myself because our teachers don't teach us that. But yeah, and then you'll be like, or like if you're in first through third grade, they'll be like, Oh, you memorize your spelling words or something. Next is the internet version. No, I think I already did that. No, I have not. The internet version is like where the teacher's like, I'm going to be a cool teacher. I'm going to make them do it on the internet or because when you get home, then you have to do it like on a squishy phone. And then it's like so hard to read and then it's going to say air so you're going to have to get out your laptop. And if you don't have a laptop, you have nothing else to do it on. So you get out the laptop and then it'll say network connection failed. And then you'll scream at your whole family, guys, who's on the Wi-Fi? I need it for homework. So yeah. Next is the useless facts homework. And I can say I got this a whole bunch. You get this at the beginning and the end and some in the middle. Like when you have nothing to do at the end of the school year, but they're like, I want to give them a grade for something that we're not even doing. And it'll be like, how long is a piece of rice? Or no, this, this is one I did have right here. So we had to get a highlighter. We got different sizes. We got different size highlighters from our teachers. Because I only have these size, the normal size. And so we got, we got different sizes and we had to measure like the highlighter and then write it down on a sheet of paper. And then another one, it was, I was in fourth grade when this one happened. It was drive around your block or down the road two miles per hour. Literally, we had to drive two miles per hour and log down how much time it took. So that was, yeah, but <laughs> let's drop this. Next is the science fair project. And you, it depends on, cause our school doesn't make you do science fair, but they will like be like trying to convince you to do it so they can get more money for the school. But, um, there will be like one year I did which bubble blows the biggest bubble, which bubble gum blows the biggest bubble, and that one was pretty fun. But um, next is the no homework, and this overall is the best one out of all of them. And the only reason why I say that is because um, you have nothing to do. It's either like the teachers don't believe in homework or like the teachers don't want to give you homework. So yeah, I don't believe in homework. If I become a teacher, which I'm not, I don't want to become a teacher. I have other plans for my life. I don't even want to become a nurse or a doctor. I have other plans. So yeah. Um, next one is the group project. This is the last one. The group project is where you have like three people in a group and then 
one person's like, I don't want to research it. The other person's like, well, I don't want to write it. So you'll say, well, you can write it, then you can research it. And then I can do the hardest part, which whatever else. Because they'll be like, I don't want to write it. I want to research it. Then y'all two can do it. Then I'll just leave you. And then I'm normally the one that does all the that I'm normally the one that is left with all the work to do. And then other, and then everybody else gets credit for it. So yeah, you'll be like, I don't want to research it. Well, I don't want to write it. Well, then switch it up. And then they'll be like, Well, I don't want to write it, and I don't want to research it. Well, I don't know what to tell you then. So you get there left all alone by yourself, but. But, um, so, um, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on post notifications for all my next videos, and I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye!